Welcome back to Solidworks and NC Tutor YouTube channel. Before starting the video, don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon button. As we have learned all the basic uh, commands and features of Cyber Sheet Metal, if you want to learn any of the commands like swept flange, jog, meter flange, edge flange, rafted bend, you can watch all the videos from our channel. I will provide the link in the description. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn about the forming tools. So how we can create and save the forming tool in the SOLIDWORKS design library and how we can use this forming tool to make this part. So watch the complete video, let's start. So first of all we are going to make the custom forming tool. So for that we will make the sketch and select the straight slot from here, make the line and make the slot shape like this so now simply give the dimension to the line i am giving the line a 12 centimeter dimension and from here you can see that our radius is 5.67 you can also adjust the radius like this so now I am going to make the two circles like this. You can make any shape. I am making this shape for the better understanding of the forming tools and the parameters used in the forming tools like stopping face and uh, face removal. So now simply trim these entities like this and select the fillet command. Make and select the fillet command, select this circle and this circle like this and make the fillet to make them smooth. So now simply drag it in the center. Now make the two holes like this. So now our sketch has been completed, you could simply go to exit sketch and go to feature extrude boss base command. So now simply select the contours like this one, this and this and give it the value of 2 cm depth, select ok. Now we are going to extrude the base. So for that again go to the extrude boss space command, select this sketch and give it the value of 0 0.50, select OK. So this is the simple forming tool. Forming tool is also known as the stamping technique used, stamping or punching technique used in sheet metal. So if you want to make the custom shapes, you, you can use the forming tools. So now simply go to the fillet command from here select this face and select ok now again go to the fillet command for these two rods like this and give it the value select ok so now you can see that our part is ready to convert it into the forming tool just simply go to sheet metal and select forming tool from here. So you can see that the forming tool uses parts that act as dies to bend, stretch or otherwise form sheet metal. So now I will select this forming tool. So there are two tabs, one is the stopping face and another one is the faces to remove. So basically stopping face is the, it defines that how deep the tool is pushed into the part or it will define the face where the forming tool stops when it is applied to the target part. So I will select this face. So uh, this will be our stopping face. And if you want to remove the faces, like if you want to make the hole, I will select this face and this face, it will remove the sheet metal part. 
so after this select ok so now you can see the blue area is showing the stopping phase and the uh, yellow area is showing the indenting phase and red area is showing the phase to remove so to save it in the design library simply go to the save all option and from here select the form tool so when you will select the form tool it will uh, redirect it due to the cyborg data but we are we have to uh, save it in the design library not in the toolbox so simply go to program data in the c drive and from here select solidworks solidworks 2020 and go to the design library so after going to design library there is a forming tool folder so there are different folders if you want to make the new folder you can make it but i am going to save it in the embosses so simply change the name of the part and select save from here so now this is the design library i if you if you can't see the design library or design library is missing i have made the tutorial yesterday on the design library i will provide the link in the description you can see how to add the design library from there so now the in design library there is a part of forming tools and in forming tools i have saved the part in the embosses so now you can see there is a part name as custom form tool part so now we will use this part for the sheet metal simply go to the new part select top plane from here go to sketch and make the rectangle give the value of 20 centimeter and width of 25 centimeter go to exit sketch now simply go to sheet metal select base flange tab from here and now you can see that the material has been added uh, sheet metal material has been added to our sketch so select ok from here now simply made the edge flanges with the length of 6 cm like this i have explained all these features in details so in this tutorial we are focusing on forming tool therefore i can't explain it in the detail you can watch the videos from the descriptions so now we are going to add the vents here on this edge and we are going to add our forming tool to this face so simply go to the forming tool and if uh, now simply drag this forming tool here like this and now you can see that our forming tool has been added now simply if you want to make it positions like if you want to give it the dimension simply select position from here select small dimension and give it the dimension like this so now select ok from here so now you can see how easily we have made the indented part in the sheet metal and this was our forming tool so now you can see the face i have selected which was red has been removed from here so if you want to add the custom faces let me show you how you can add it simply go to the part again select this face go to sketch and select the center point slot from here select the center and make the simple sketch like this select ok from here go to features select the plate line so the plate line features basically separate your part into another face or separate face so select this face and select ok so now you can see that we have made the custom face from here using the sketch and now we will simply go to edit feature of the form tool and in the faces to remove i will select this sketch face and or separate line face so now you can see that it has it is red so simply control s it and select form tool again from here and 
again go to the program data and save this file to or replace this file I have uh, saved earlier so select save from here and select yes now again go to the simple part delete this forming tool feature and again add the custom form tool like this flip the tool so if you want to add the angle or rotate it you can simply use this angle from here so simply again go to the position select smart dimension from here Now simply select OK and select it from here. So now you can see the separated part or face have been removed. So this was the feature of the forming tool. So if you want to add the custom forming tools or standard forming tool from the design library. So when I am going to add the lower, you can see that it is showing the error or you trying to make a drive part. To fix this error, just simply right click on forming tool folder and select forming tools from here and select yes so now when i am going to add the lower like this simply drag and drop it lowers are basically used for the ventilations in the sheet metal so simply flip this tool and select ok now i am going to make the linear pattern select this edge and select the feature which is our lower form tool and select ok now simply mirror this pattern for the other side select ok so now you can see that forming tool made easy our sheet metal part and save the time for the complex shapes and now if you want to add the ribs like I am going to add the single rib on downward and upward face so from here give the angle of 90 degree so it has been rotated and select ok and now simply mirror this feature select the right plane from here select ok so now you can see our part has been created the sheet metal part if you want to uh, see the dimensions or if you want to save the file for the manufacturing just simply select flatten from here and select file save as and select DXF from here and select save from here so now you can see the three options faces loops annotation views and sheet metal so I am going to save it in the sheet metal so if you want to show the bending lines or export it like this so select ok from here so now you can see how easily we have made the DXF file for the manufacturing of the sheet metal so this was a simple tutorial on SOLIDWORKS sheet metal forming tools in the next tutorial we are going to learn about the sheet metal gazette so thank you for watching keep supporting and keep sharing our channel for the more interesting videos